Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine, ma'am. What about you? Fine. So, can I have your resume? Your name? Shivarati. Okay. Where are you from? Mongol. Tell me about yourself. My name is Shivarati. I came from Mongol. I currently living in I currently living in Hyderabad. Uh, I completed Bachelor of Technology in the stream of Electronics Computation Engineering, and I have I have aggregate percentage in sixty-five percent. Mm -hmm. My students are self-motivated, hardworking, time management. My hobbies are traveling, business, traveling, browsing net, playing cricket. Okay. So you are basically from electronics student. Yes, Why you choose uh, Java? Java is a future language, future model, future language. It is a future language. Yes, so that is the reason you have chosen Java. Yes, okay. So your hobby is uh, traveling. Traveling. Okay. Yes. So which places you can travel frequently? Switzerland. Okay. So what is famous there? Tem uh, Shiva Lion Temple and uh, Nagajuta, Nagajuta Temple. Okay. So, who is your favorite cricketer? I think uh, you are one of the hobbies cricket, playing cricket, right? Yes, who is your favorite cricketer? MS Dhoni. MS Dhoni. Okay. Uh, what do you have learned from him? He is the uh, least uh, patience and uh, cricket in the batting match. Okay. So, your uh, one more hobby is? Uh, Browsing net. Man. Browsing net. Yes. So, what you will browse in net? Career, career sites. Man. Career sites. Yes, okay, that's fine. So, that's fine. So, what are your strengths? Self motivated, hard working, time management. Time management. Yes, okay. What are your weakness? Weakness. I have grown multiple tasks. Man. Okay, you cannot perform multiple tasks at a time. Yes, Okay, uh, that's fine. So, I will ask you some questions. Uh, so, are you comfortable with the uh, Java programming language? Yes, ma'am. Yes? yes ma Rate yourself out of five? Four. Four? Okay, you are having lot of confidence. Okay, that's fine. So, what is the default method? Okay, what is the default method? And why is it required? Default method is... Default method is... Uh, Can you speak loudly? Default method, the default method is enabled to add, add new functionality interfaces, uh, functionality existing interfaces and uh, ensure boundary compatibility uh, order, uh, code written for older versions of those interfaces. Okay. So, what are static methods and interfaces? Static method is a method, it is associated with the, it is associated with the class can be used as, it is defined in the, rather than with any object. Mm -hmm. Every instance of the every instance of the class shared static method. Uh, static method is interface or part of the interface. Mm -hmm. And uh, class cannot implement override the whereas can override the default method. Okay. So what is a type interface? An interface is a type in Java. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's in, uh, it specifies with the object uh, can be used in the value, mm -hmm. which variables are parameters. And uh, mm -hmm. an interface with the methods. Uh, the objects implement in the interface mm. and the interface Okay. Method. What are the various categories of predefined functional interfaces? Uh, what are the various categories you are having in functional interfaces? Uh, Dependent Java functional interfaces are the runnable, comparable, action reasoner, mm. toggle, etc. Uh, examples of predefined Java functional functionality interfaces are the consumer, by consumer, predicate, by predicate. Okay. So, what is the optional class? It is a public finite class we, we can use to deal with the endpoint access in Java application. Mm -hmm. And we, 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 we use this class, we can must, uh, we can must uh, import Java article package. Okay. So, what are the advantages of using the optional classes? We are using an we are using an optional class to wrap our data and avoid the class kernel fix from the sum of try catch blocks. Mm. You, you, can, you will be able to chain method calls to the chain method to call have more fluent and functional code. Mm. Using it effectively can lead to drop and performance to the uh, code pattern. Okay. What are Java streams? The Java streams represents a pipeline through which data will flow. 
functional to the operator on the data. A pipeline is a pipeline in this instant and consists of a stream sources such as followed by zero or more, in, more intermediate operations and of terminal operation. Okay. What are the main components of there in streams? The main components of Java streams processing elements are the processing elements are the uh, to data streams uh, and the processing elements, etc. Mm -hmm. So, what are the resources of data objects a stream can process? Streams can be used from a data providing sources such as collection size input output resources and mm -hmm. aggregate operations is stream supports SQL like operations, common operations and uh, mm -hmm. uh, functional programming languages such as uh, filter, map, reduce, find, uh, match sorted, etc. Okay. How are collections different from streams? A collection is a memory data structure and mm -hmm. uh, it go, which holds all the values in the data structure and uh, common, commonly every element in the collection and computed before it is added to the collection before it is added to the collection, it is computed, it is contrast and stream to conceptually fixed data structure, which these elements are in the computed and demanded. Okay. What is predicate interface? It is, it is predicate, uh, predicate means Boolean value function of one argument. It is defined in the import java dot function. Okay. What is uh, bifunctional interface? Only one of our one input argument accept only mm. uh, functional functional interface, but our our uh, but our uh, programming language is accept only two input arguments. Mm. Uh, there are there is only say only for two in by one functional interface. What is a class? Class is a. Mm. What is the definition of class? You don't know. We are learning here by functional interface, consumer interface. Without knowing the definition of class, how you can learn all these things? Class is a. Hmm. Say. Forget the definition. Hmm? What is the definition of interface then? What is interface? Interface is the type in Java. Hmm. It, uh, it is not the proper definition. Okay. Anyway, write down your program for uh, to check whether the two strings are anagrams or not. Okay now? Yes. So I am giving two strings. Okay, you need to take two strings, string one and string two. Okay, string 1 I was given it as a dog and string 2 I am given it as a god. Okay, you need to check whether those two strings are anagrams or not. Okay, now write down the program. Make it fast. Why we are using uh, here util.rs package? Rs is a collection of data. Mm. Homogeneous collection of data. Yes. Why we are importing the package? For anagrams it is mandatory. Yes, ma Which method Thanks. you are using then? You mm. are using any method? Mm. Boolean method. Right.
So why we are writing this import statement util dot arrays? Why because here you are using to char array method, yes, right? So this method is present in which module? Yes, mm, module not. Which package? Yes, import Java dot util. Okay. Mm, right. Explain the program. What you are doing here? Import your Java dot util dot arrays package. Public class and account class. Main method. String string str one and listen. String str two string silent. So listen and silent both are anagrams. Okay. This character or listen and silence are the character str one or two character array. Okay. So you are uh, keeping these uh, strings into the character array. Yes, okay. Listen and silent. Sure. Okay. The condition are satisfied to the sort uh, elements are the string one and string string two. Mm. So the if condition satisfied the uh, printer statement execute. Uh, both uh, if both strings are not, not same. Not satisfied. Else, con mm. else condition to the string uh, string one and string two. Now. Okay. If both the conditions are not satisfied, it will go to else block. Okay. Okay. Your technical round is completed. Okay. Do you have any questions to ask me? No. So why I need to hire you? I have don't any experience. I have a great great knowledge. I have to do my. If you are have a beauty and give me a chance, I have proved my knowledge and skills. Okay. So, you are saying that you are having only theoretical knowledge. But for our company, I need a technical knowledge. So, how can I take you? Is theoretical knowledge is enough to develop the project? No. Then how, then how, why I need to take you? Why I need to hire you? We are having only theoretical knowledge. Practical knowledge. Mm -hmm. How you can improve it then? If you give me a chance, I mm -hmm. will go to my theoretical and practical knowledge. Okay. Your interview is completed. Okay, for further information, our HR will contact with you. Okay. Mm -hmm.